In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to download photos from Google Photos to your computer using the Google Photos website. To start with, we'll download one individual photo, but you can also download multiple photos in large batches if you want to. To download photos from Google Photos, you'll need to go to the Google Photos website, which is photos.google.com. So go there. And if you're not currently signed in to your Google account on this computer, you'll just see a sign in screen and you'll need to sign into your account. But then you'll be on the Google Photos website. And if you scroll down here, you should see all your photos that you have on Google Photos. And now you'll really just need to click on a photo that you want to download. So you can scroll down anywhere to find whatever photo it is you want to download. You could even go into updates and find photos that people have shared with you or something like that. But in this case, to me, just going to click on this photo here to download this photo. And now once you've opened up whatever photo you want to download, to download it, all you need to do is come up to the top right hand corner here with these cluster of icons here. The icons will only appear if your mouse is moving. So make sure your mouse is moving. But if you come up here, you should see all these icons and then click on the three dots in the top right hand corner here. And then in this menu that appears, come down one and click download. And now your photo will download to your computer. And if it's only one photo, it should be very quick to download. So as you can see here, it's already downloaded. So now your photo is downloaded from Google Photos. So this part will look a little bit different depending on what computer you have. But if you pull up the files app for whatever files app you have on your computer and go into probably the downloads folder or wherever else your downloads normally go, you will now see this photo in here, which is the photo that you downloaded from Google Photos. So you now have this photo downloaded to your computer. And if you just want to download one photo, that's really all there is to it. The photo is now downloaded. So that's how you can do that. But if you want to download several photos from Google Photos, you could do it one at a time the way Timmy just showed you, or you can select a larger batch of photos and download them all at once. So if you hover over any photo in Google Photos here, you'll see there's this sort of faded tick icon that will appear in the top left corner of any photo you hover over. And when you hover over it, you can click that tick here. And now this photo will be selected. And now you can just simply click on any other photo you want to select because you're in selecting mode and that will select a whole lot of photos. So you can go through and click on this one and this one and this one and this one. Maybe we'll skip this one because we already downloaded it. And you could come down and click on some others somewhere else if you want. And as you can see up here, it tells us we have nine photos selected. And if you want to be even faster at it, you can see all the photos in one date here. So these two photos were both taken on Wednesday, February 26th. So you can click this tick next to the date here and it will select all the photos in that date. So if there's a few days worth of photos you wanted to download, you can select them all really quickly like that rather than having to click on each of them. So if we show it again with more photos, we can click this tick here and select all these photos that were all taken on that date. And you can also select an even larger batch of photos really quickly by holding down your shift key. So if we click on this photo to select it, and then we scroll down through all these photos here, and we want to select all of these photos to download all of these photos, we might go all the way to maybe here. So we'll download this photo and all the ones in between this photo and the one we selected. If we now hold down the shift key on the keyboard and then click on this photo, that will select the two photos we clicked on and all of the photos in between. So just like that, by using your shift key, you can select a really quite large batch of photos all at once. As you can see, we now have 88 photos selected. 
So there's really quite a few different ways that you can select different photos depending on what you want to do. If you want to go through and pick out this one, this one, this one, and this one, you'll probably just click the tick and then click on a few other photos. But if you do have a large batch or several days, you can either select them by date or with the click and shift and click. And then you can select really quite a large batch to download all at once. One thing to me will mention is it might struggle to download a really large batch. So if you want to download like a thousand photos, to me would maybe recommend you select about 500, download them, then select the other 500 and download them. Because if you try to select a thousand all at once, it might just kind of freeze up and not really work properly. It might work just fine, but it, the more photos you select, the more difficult it becomes for the computer and the internet connection and everything to download it properly. But if you're just selecting a few, like maybe 88, like to me selecting, you should really have no issues there. It's just if you want to download a really large amount, you might want to split it up into two or even more batches. But now that we've got these 88 photos selected and we're ready to download them all, it's really pretty similar to downloading one individual photo. We've got them all selected here. And while they're selected, there's this extra bar up the top here. And to the right over here, we have three dots here, just like on an individual photo. And we can click the three dots and click download. So we'll go ahead and click the download button here. And now it says down here, preparing to download 88 items. And that's because to download more than one file, all those files have to be put into a zip file. So it's having to put these 88 photos into a zip file first. And now, as you can see, it's just started downloading the zip file. So you do just have to wait a bit for that. And then unfortunately, once they're downloaded, you will have to get them out of the zip file. But don't worry, it's easier than it sounds. So this could take quite a while for all these photos to download to your computer. If you have a lot of photos selected and they're really large, maybe some videos even, or if your internet connection is a bit slow, but you just need to wait for that to finish. As you can see, Tamise has already finished in the time it took to explain this. And now, if we go back to the downloads folder in the computer's files app, or whatever folder where your files normally download to, you'll see we have the individual photo we downloaded before, but we also now have this zip folder called photos1001.zip. And you'll just need to extract the zip file and get your photos out of there. They'll all just be in there. And unfortunately, the process of extracting a zip file is different on different computers. But to me has detailed tutorials for Mac OS, Chromebooks, and Windows. So whatever operating system you use, you'll find links in the description to all those videos where Tumi walks you through properly how to open and extract a zip file on your computer. So if you're not familiar with zip files, Tumi would probably recommend you go and watch that video. But then once you extract your zip file and get into it, you will really just have all these photos you selected right here. And that's all there is to it. That's how you can download one or multiple photos from Google Photos to your computer. But if you wanna download all your photos from Google Photos, you could work through them all and download them all in batches of maybe 500 at a time, and that would eventually work. But there is actually a better way that you can download absolutely all of your photos from Google Photos using something called Google Takeout. But to me, we'll talk about that in a future video. But that's all there is to this video, so hopefully you found it helpful, and to me, I'll see you in the next one.